So some things to consider when you're thinking about the container you're choosing to hold students' learning um, are, is this a single-use container or a multi-use container? If you're thinking about something that they can use consistently while they're at home, um, something like a Google Slideshow where you can have um, entries added every day or over the course of a period of time, um, something like a journal form, maybe it's a video product that they're creating, but something that they're working on uh, over a longer period of time than just one shot and then that container is used up um, is definitely going to save you and them some frustration because they know where to access and they have a sense of how this container functions without having to learn a new skill every day to do this task. Um, another key piece is how do I access the containers of my students? If it's something like a slide or a doc or a Google Draw piece, you can definitely have them upload those and add them in your classroom. You can even make copies for your class um, as you're creating that assignment. But if you are are, um, using WordPress, for example, I have used that in the past with blogging. It's not super user friendly because without the list of links, it's difficult for me to get into students' blogs. And uh, I found when I did have a list of links, um, it was difficult for me to navigate and see if they had added the entries as assigned because there were so many steps to getting to that program. So it's not a bad container for every use, but for me, it didn't function the way I wanted to with the access piece. Um, do students need to be able to access each other's containers? containers? Are they giving feedback? Are they taking a look for other reasons? Um, where is this stored? Is it something that they can use offline if they're in a household with lots and lots of people in it and using all the internet all the time? Uh, what do we need this container to hold? Um, is this for recorded speaking? Is this for video, large files? Um, is this for symbolic notation? Am I going to be able to physically draw or write into the um, platform that I'm using? Or can I add or upload um, writing that I do as a hard copy into that platform. Um, often we're working with a lot of photo images, so um, JPEGs or PNG files or PDFs can definitely save you, but they're not very easy to write on, so you'd have to change the form of the document. So things like that, you know, what is the function? What do I want this to do? Um, can I use this container without having to do some more flex, or is the point of me using this container to help with that flex? Um, and then finally, how can I gradually release materials so I don't overwhelm my students or myself or my sub and think about how they're accessing what I'm sharing as well as how I can access what they're sharing.